You're not tuned into the number one college radio show in the country. The Goonies, broadcasting live in Marco Radio Studios. Yes, sir. What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? If you're now tuning in, uh, bro, what have you been doing, sis? What have you been doing? You are mad late, dog. <laughs> mad late, yo. Like, you're really, really super late. But, hey, uh, our new time, 8 to 10, is it? Oof, it seems like. At first, I didn't think it was going to be enough time to do everything that we do. But um, I think it'll be enough time. I don't know. I think it'll be enough time. Um, besides <laughs> the fact that me getting here a little late. From the gym, but uh, I think I think I like it though. I like it. I think we have more interaction because everybody's like off work. Yeah, things I mean, like it's that. It's a cool time. It's just yeah, yeah. I just need something to be open in the campus so I can get a burger or something. Oh, you should you should. Oh, no, you know they're closed. <laughs> you know they're closed. Hey, all right. So before we get into the Goonies podcast, which is a free form podcast, we talk about everything, things we know, things we don't know, and sometimes we just talk. Then just because we don't have anything else to talk, anything, <laughs> anything else to do. Um, but hey, you can call in at two one five six one nine seven three six six if you want to state your opinion. Why? Because your opinion matters to us. It really does. You may think it doesn't. Your girl, or your dude may tell you your opinion doesn't matter, but to us, it definitely does. Um, so yeah, the number again is 215-619-7366. For some reason, we've been talking about relationship issues and problems, good things, bad things, more so bad things, or, but yeah, just I know. different The opinions. reason we've been talking about relationships, you're trying to get your you weight up. Differently. No, because you're trying to get your relationship weight up, because yeah, I mean, you engaged now, so I, all, I feel you, you're trying to like... Listen, listen, I put the down payment on the wedding, so my... Uh, wedding, my weight is already up. Like, it's, yeah, that's my feel you on the money wise situation. But I'm talking about you trying to get your emotional understanding and interpreting of, yeah, you know I mean, you no, to get no, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm really okay. not. Uh, okay, no. well then stay the uh, same. No, I, I'm not saying I'm not saying the same. I'm Don't try you. to improve. That's the reason. Don't why. try to improve. Well, you need to hold the mirror up to yourself because that's the reason why <laughs> yeah. we've been getting you to be throwing a lot stones the, in the glass nah, house. Nah, bro, nah, bro, I can't remember. <laughs> I, nope, nope, will not do that, and haven't done that. But I think I, I think the reason why we have is because you actually are searching for something deep down inside, and we're almost there. You're like yeah, an onion. I'm searching. We're, you're like an onion. We're, we're peeling. So we're peeling I'm the searching layers. for something deep down inside. I yes, know what you're searching we're, for. We're, deep peeling, down inside. We're, we're, we're peeling the layers. Okay, and. Um, uh, so I think we're getting there, Mark. And I think that um, one of these days uh, you'll be able to open and you'll see what you really need. Uh, and and what are you you're talking new girl. about? I'm saying that's why we've been on relationship because you just think differently than the rest of the world. I think differently. Yes, than the rest of the world. Yeah, yes, just like don't. Apple thinks different. That's like yeah, the model. Uh, yeah, but Apple isn't based off of relations, relationships, or are they? Hmm. Interesting. But anyway, um, we'll have... Oh, we also have... Um, um, uh, what are we... What, what, what is it? I, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> um, okay, so let's start from the beginning. Uh, June 7th, we will be throwing a summer party at PJ Wellahan's. Did I say it right? Yes, yeah, I can never say it. So Tuesday, Thursday, June 7th, uh, PJ Wellahan's on uh, 799 DeKal Pike in Bluebell, PA, which is basically right down. It's like right there. You can like see yeah, it from the Yeah, it's right studio. down the street from, you really can't see it from the studio, but it's right down the street from the, <laughs> from the uh, campus. From The flyer says 8 to 10, but I think we're going to be shutting down. We're going to be closing out the restaurant. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. It's presented by Motco Radio. What up? Bloop, 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 bloop. What up? No, block. No, I can't even do it. Right, do it. Go ahead. Go he's, ahead. You're Haitian. You sound Go like ahead. You're Haitian. Nemo over there. <laughs> <laughs> bloop, 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 bloop. Go ahead. How you, how you doing? You're you're Haitian. I guess. Uh, I don't know what, what that do, means. What do Haitians do? What do you guys do? Uh, we say what's up, sac passe. Sac passe. Mm -hmm. That's um French. That's Creole. Creole. Yeah. So that's like the slang of an African. The Creole. What is Creole? Creole is a language that was developed amongst the Haitian people 
in combining in conjunction with their native tongue and the French language. So what was their native tongue? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't tell you. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, I used to talk to a girl who knew, who knew uh, Creole a little bit. Uh, interesting language. Uh, I don't think they do classes on it, do they? Yeah, in Haiti they do. Mm-hmm. Well, there's there's different types of Creole too. So there's Haitian Creole, and the, well, we don't need to get into a whole history lesson. I'm but interested in now. different parts of the world. There's different types of Creole. Okay, so um, what's the like? What's the known? Was it the French? Is it the French Creole? Well, there's French Creole if you're talking about like uh, Kentucky and Cajuns and stuff like that. But then there's like. Creole, which is like Haitian Creole, which is from that island. Mm-hmm. Okay. But if you know one, you know them all, basically, is what you're saying. No, that's not what all I'm right. saying. All right. Well, moving on. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, we'll be having our summer party uh, presented by Mako Radio, and um, it's going to be a lot of fun, man. I'm excited. It's going to be our first Goonies summer party. So we're looking at having this annually. Maybe uh, let me tell you times. what the problem is. We used to have this segment called What the we Problem still do. Is. We just didn't get a chance to get it in. Let me yet. tell you how this man been sitting on flyers for two weeks. No, Hasn't no, no, even no, passed no, 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 not no, a no, one no. of oh, them shout out. out. Shout out to Matt Porter, man. Definitely appreciate you um, getting those flyers printed out and made for us. Uh, definitely appreciate that. Uh, but no, not but two weeks. But those flyers are just what underneath your pillow, like no, you, like, you actually, dream you know on what? top no, of no, it. No, no, no. I actually got home from the gym and grabbed all my stuff and came out. Now, what I should have done, what I should have had all my stuff in the car already. But, but what I you did should not. have done was pass out the flyers the same day you got them. No, I couldn't have done that. I don't, I, there's some reason why I couldn't. I forget. Right. But there's a legit reason why. Okay. But I That's will be passing problem. them out tomorrow. Yes, we will be passing them out. So if you forget, look on your car because it might be there. <laughs> um, but all right. So let's get into it because we've been talking about a lot of relationship issues, trying to help out Mark. And um, I think one topic that I'm surprised you didn't say anything about that because that was funny. That was pretty funny. I was like, you. so that's you admitting that we're trying to help you out. No. Okay. Well, uh, so one topic that stands out is the double standards and gender bias. Now, um, when that comes to a relationship, um, double standards and gender bias, uh, I don't know. It's interesting. It, it, it from a guy's point of view, um, from a guy's point of view, it kind of makes it difficult for us. I, this is how I feel. It kind of makes it difficult because there's been plenty of situations when um, me and my lady, we would be in a discussion or a, a disagreement. Um, and in my viewpoint, I'm like, yo, this is this. But I'm like, I'm reacting the same way you reacted the last time. Just having like, why is it any different? So, in other what words, what do you mean? You so, react- all right. So, for example, <laughs> okay, go ahead. For example, um, and she has helped me out with this, and uh, definitely, pre- but my time, my time, being on time, she's very A B C D type personality, and she's very on point with her timing. So that's why she mother has it's 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 it. She she, um, she's my strength. I got you. Keep it one hundred. Go ahead. So, like, there will be times where. I'm late, and she would get on me for being late, and like you know, rightfully so. Okay, I'm late, but then when she's late, she wants to ignore the fact. That of course, because she's late. No, I, I'm, I'm on her side. Like, I'm on her side. No, 100% no, 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 no. It one. has to because stop I deal with you every day. I deal with you yeah, a lot. But I'm not late all the time. No, 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 no. no. no I'm, I'm on her side 100. <laughs> percent This is why you just, because. If you are consistently showing up late, you basically got a D on the report card, and we trying to prevent you from getting an F. Now, us who come up here with A pluses always on time, really? on point, then the really? one time, <laughs> the one time in a while we show up late. Like, we don't need the person who's always messing up trying to tell us not to be on time. Like, so that's what you're saying. Like, seriously? Yeah. That's like, what? what? But my thing we is, get a pass. We get a pass. How many passes do you get? That's the point. How, well, how, how often has it been? How often has what been? Have has I been she late? been late? I don't count because it doesn't. It because doesn't, it's so small that you no, can't even count no, no, no. it. It's, it's probably fact, like once every two months or something. No, no, it's because of the fact, to me, certain things aren't 
as important as other things. Like, so for example, no, being on time shows that you value a person's time. No, it does not. Yes, it not no, 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 no. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Not so, all the time. Not all whoa. the time. Not all the time. Whoa, whoa, because whoa. okay, so you're telling so me if me, you mess up, if so you mess up me one time, sitting there for an hour and a half, you were early. I'm asking you a question. Yes. Me sitting there. For an hour and a half or 30 minutes or whatever the case may be, me sitting there waiting for you when I could have been doing something else with my time, that you doesn't show that you value my time? No, no, no. You were early. You were late. What are you talking about? You I were know, late. I, I, I know I was late. But what I'm saying is if you weren't early, you wouldn't be waiting that long. Okay, now you just now you just for that one. <laughs> if you if you were early, uh, yeah, you wouldn't be waiting that long. So what I should do is just show up like you show up whenever I want. No, no, just show up at like five minutes to eight. And I actually got here a lot earlier than that. I actually got here like fifteen. It it was like ten minutes early. I was like here at like seven fifty. We supposed to be here at seven thirty, guys. You heard him. He said, "I, Wait, I got nobody here." Nobody said what time we were supposed to be here. We've been doing this show for a year. We've yeah. been showing up at a half. All right, I'm not even gonna get. I'm not even so, gonna get mad. It's I'm just, just a new let your girl. I'm just, I'm just, just let your girl rip into you when you get home. <laughs> so, so, so anyway, um, yeah. So like things like that. So is there a double standard? Uh, but um, how is that a gender double standard? That no, not gender. You you're mixing the two. The one topic is double, double standards, standards and oh, gender it, bias. Okay, so that's double standard. Double standards. That is do not. That's believe, one standard. And, so do you believe the standard is show up on time? Okay. All right. All right. Whatever. Okay. So now, <laughs> do you believe that there should be double standards allowed in a relationship? What does that mean? What does that mean? Oh, what is what is your first take on that when I say that double standards? What does that mean to you? Like without oh. with, with just the knowledge that you have now, without any further explanation of what I feel, you're gonna you, ask me a question. So you don't and not understand what double it. standards are. You said in a relationship, for example, a woman can do this, but a man can't do it, or a man can do it, but a woman can't do it. You are so. Your question is: Should that be allowed in a relationship? Should double standards be accepted in a relationship? In a relationship. If it allows the relationship to be a healthy relationship, if both parties agree that, you know, this double standard makes our relationship healthy, then I don't see why not. But in a relationship where maybe I would be a part of double standards, I don't really like that. So you don't like double standards. Why not? Because you see it as unfair. I don't see it unfair. I don't know if it's unfair would be the terminology I would say. It would just be like. I would just be confused. I would probably <laughs> just be you. confused. Well, there, there you go. That's why when I'm late and, or... No, if that is not double standard. All right. There's one, there's one standard. Be on time. That's the only standard. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, all right. But then there's no leeway on being late every once in a while. Every, not saying that you're... Not saying that you're, you're, you're... Like, it's a legit reason. Like, a legit reason. What is... Say that again. So what I'm saying is there's no forgiveness for being late like one time. I'm sure she forgive forgave you. Yeah, but I mean I don't need to be getting grilled about it. No. Well, a- as annoying as the grilling is, is as annoying as it is to be waiting. Yeah, but it but if you don't come early, you won't be waiting that long. You can't put the negative on the party who shows up on time. Okay. That's it. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> All right. Gender bias. Okay. And I know we touched on that with you because uh, you were saying you don't believe that there are. Um, you better get your words right if you're going to quote me. Go ahead. I am. That's why I'm taking my time. That's why okay, I'm. Okay, take your time. You believe that there isn't a set role played between a man and a woman when it comes to a relationship. What? I said, I believe that what? You don't believe that there are set roles. I'm not talking about sexual or what you do. Like, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about you don't believe that there are, as in, like, within the relationship, you don't believe in set gender roles. No, I don't believe in rela- set gender roles. No, I do not believe in set gender roles in a relationship. I believe okay. that at one point in time, I do 
what I felt victim to that. Like I was part of that whole well, thing. Wait, you felt victim to that? I don't think I remember this. What do you mean? Refresh my refresh. My All I'm saying that. is that in past relationships, gender roles has played a part, but I've evolved from that. But how do you play victim to how 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 have you how have you become a victim of? Because if there's a certain, if you have a certain mind state that might not be uh, what society believes, Mm -hmm. but then it starts grill, getting grilled into you by your partner about how things should be a certain way, Mm -hmm. then you start to a little bit conform to what your partner's saying, and then you wake up like, I don't even believe in this crap anyway. So it's like. And that will come to the next topic is compromise. Wouldn't there be some type of compromise to um, to resolve that issue? Uh, compromise in bias? And no, comp- like, for, so for example, um, your last lady that you were with, I don't know which one, but whichever one you were asking, whichever one you were using for the conversation that we're having now about you feel, falling victim to that, um, do you believe that it would have worked out if you compromised more? If you kind of said like, "Okay, I'll go ahead and do play this role in our relationship," no, that it would you, not have worked out because then I would have been unhappy. I can't de evolve, like. But that's not de evolving. That- Wouldn't that be more so evolving because you are compromising? You're putting your ego aside. I don't and compromising? believe in compromising a relationship. I believe in you don't believe in any. Co- that's the same thing. It's not compromising and negotiation. And negotiation, right? So basically, okay, without looking up the definition, we're going to sound very ignorant right now. Uh, compromising, um, you both agree. <laughs> <laughs> you both, you both compromising. You both agree on on uh, end result. N- negotiation the is the same thing. No, the connotation- negotiation is the same thing. Okay. Yeah, you want me to go ahead? Okay. Because now I'm a Wikipedia. This the connotation for a compromise is when both parties compromise, both parties lose something. There's something that they're giving up in order for them to come to an agreement. That's how you negotiate. The, no, it's not how you negotiate. For let me give you an example. If I have an orange, and you want the orange. And I want the orange, mm-hmm. okay? The compromise would say, okay, let's split the orange in half. Yes. So we both lose half an orange. Or we both gain an orange. Half an orange. We, or, or we both gain okay. half. We had nothing. Uh, no, but- we both had an orange together. No, no, no. Whose orange was it? If we're in a relationship, think about it. If two parties if are in a relationship girl have, have an, an orange, orange, then it's our orange. So then, and you split in half. You all, it's always been half. You, if okay. it's you all and your right. girl, so you ready? You you, are you ready right, for ahead, the difference it. between compromise finish, and negotiation? Finish, finish, finish. Negotiation allows a party to communicate openly and freely and understands each other's needs, okay. so they can get one hundred percent of what they want. So, for example, that's impossible. So, for example, same scenario. We have an orange. Mm-hmm. Me and this girl. Mm-hmm. I want to eat the orange. Okay. She wants to make tea from the skin of the orange. Oh, my now, gosh. Yo, stop. Yo, <laughs> no, no, stop so, it, please. So, so, yo, yo, listen, you know, listen, such listen BS, I'm yo. telling you what she a negotiation was, okay. is. A oh, negotiation right. involves you investigating right. what the other party okay. needs. So, how about so this? this way you both can oh get 100% gosh, of what yo. you want. So how about this? She wants to eat the orange, too. You want to eat the orange, and <laughs> she wants to eat the orange. Lies. No, 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 no. No, See, no I, I gave you an example. No, no. What okay, I did was so I gave you. So now you, I'm example. A, you can't use my example against me. No, I'm not, use your I'm own not, example. I don't am, even I use am, the orange. Okay, all right, now own, you gonna, don't example. say no kiwi, my own example. no pineapple, own, nothing. No, I'm not going to say kiwi, okay. pineapple. You and your girl have an apple. <laughs> now, <laughs> you... so stupid. I'm not going to say kiwi, pineapple. Now, you <laughs> want to eat the apple. She wants to eat the apple. How do you negotiate that then? You have to talk to each other. And you so have to communicate. What would, so what would be... Uh, what would be then, if both of you guys want to eat the apple, what Bro, would be? Scenario. Let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> what would be the end result of a good negotiation for eating the apple? 
If I want to eat an apple, she wants to eat an apple. What would be a good result? Uh, what would be? The, I will tell you right now. What? We plant a seed from the apple, and then we get Yo, an apple you know tree. You know what you're saying? <laughs> you know what you're saying? We got it. No, 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 what you're and saying? We is, eat the apples. See, what and you're, we eat apples no, all no, day, no, baby. No, 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 apples all day. But she wants that one right there. Then no, there. come on. Now you're gonna you're gonna see, keep, no, you're no, gonna keep dissecting doing, it all the way down no, until no, you're trying to put me into a no. No, I see what you're doing. What you're what you're what you're putting on. And, and you want to be in control of how is her hundred percent, and it's your how way is or the that, highway. How is that That's in control? Exactly what it is. No, how is that it in is. control? Because you just we're said, both getting one hundred percent of what you, we no, want. No, no, you're not. She wants to eat that apple right then and there. She'll forget the seeds. She don't want to plant no seeds. She wants to eat the apple, the whole apple and the seeds. And you're she saying, wants to eat and you're saying no, we're not going to do that. We're going to take. That's what. So once again, you're going off of what no, you no, want. No, no, no. See, that would be if. So you're saying she wants to eat the whole apple. So I'm with a girl who's selfish then. No, you're the one that's selfish because you, you just don't said want to she comp- wants to eat the whole apple and the seeds. She don't want so nobody to live you, off. The- but that's what I'm saying. how do you negotiate that? How do you negotiate that? How do you negotiate a girl who wants she, to eat the whole? Split, this is how you negotiate it. You say I get peace. Half, you get half. You cool. say that's it. <laughs> That's, that's what I'm saying. It's, that's right, what I'm saying. You know what? If it works for your relationship, the, my initial thing was nah, bro, if compromise on. and um, gender bias works for your relationship and makes your relationship healthy, then I'm for it. But in my relationships, I'm not down with it. No, in your relationship, you want to control everything. How is that controlling everything? Okay, so a negotiation is a, a discussion, discussion aimed, aimed at, at reaching an, an agreement. agreement. Okay. Now, okay, right? <laughs> All right. All right. All right. We're not just going to take whatever the first thing it says. What do you mean the first thing? That's the whatever. definition. Go ahead. Go ahead. Now, compromise. What does this say? An agreement or, or a settlement, settlement of, of a, a dispute. dispute. It's already negative. No, 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 no. But the uh, okay, what, whatever. It's literally it's a dispute already negative. That is reached by each side making. What is that word? Concessions. There Concessions you go. means that you're giving up stuff. Yeah, negotiation. Just, literally, oh, you, this just proved my point. Man, Thank you. I don't know. This just literally proved my point. No, 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 no. This is compromise is more specific than negotiations because within negotiations, either one person can have a hundred percent of the winning and whatever. No, or- you can have a scenario where win both parties win. It's called win win. A win win. That's half, a win win. And that's half. No, that's not half. That what is win win then? Win win is we both have one hundred percent of what we want. Yo, you're trying to confuse. Yo, you. I'm trying to confuse you. No, no, not I'm confusing. giving you a different perspective. All right. You asking right. me what my perspective right. is. You telling me about gender bias, and then I'm telling you if that works for your relationship as long as it's healthy, then go ahead and be biased. <laughs> but oh my gosh! All right, so the other next topic because <laughs> we'll be on this, and we only got like five more minutes. Should you talk to? So where's the where's the limit? To what do you believe the limit is, or there's a, um, there's a yeah. What limit do you believe you should be talking to your friends or family if you and your girl have an issue? Like, do you think they should oh, know everything? Oh, it's definitely everything? a limit. I went way past that limit a couple times. Wait, just okay, so you're saying there moment. is a limit? Yeah, absolutely. Some things need to just stay within the relationship. Why? Why? Because. Outside opinions are influences by are influenced by their own biases. Mm-hmm. So therefore, when you get this information back and you take it as it's your own mm-hmm. viewpoint, you're just clouding up the situation. Period. Mm-hmm. And I've learned my lesson on that the hard way. Do so. Do yeah, so. I mean, Do tell. I, I don't have any specific situations, but I'm just saying. Like, but aren't you already? Don't you already have a viewpoint or opinion based off of your life experiences without even asking for advice? Yeah, but you can't cloud. But you're just making it more clouded if you keep asking all these other people. It depends on what the situation is. It can't like certain things. Obviously, you want to follow a mentor, somebody who can guide you in a healthier situation, but. Some things should just be in the relationship and not go spread outside of that. So, do you agree or disagree? It depends on what, what it is. Yeah, I, I guess it would say it depends on what it is. Um, you just gotta be able to understand and know your partner to know like what things should not be said outside your relationship. Well, here's a great segue: sex toys. Okay. 
Ad- <laughs> <laughs> advice? Uh, would you ask your friends about friends and family about that? Oh well, because that's I mean, the next. Yeah, one. That was sure. actually a good segue. Yes. Yeah. So that's not a border, like. I mean, if she considers it a border, that's fine. But I don't. Oh, okay. Okay. Huh. Maybe and so. you? <sighs> uh, I would ask a, only a. There's only a small handful. Right, and it depends there's on how only, detailed that conversation goes. Because you don't want to be putting it like. I could probably count them on like two fingers. Right. So. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, I agree with so, you 100. percent Okay. So next question: um, Should men give women advice? Yes. Yes. Okay. I. I 100% agree with that. What um, about the opposite? Should women get men advice? Hmm. If it's if it has to deal with women. Wait. What? You so, said if it's not should no. women. Why could you just say yes for a man, but when I say for a woman, because you a have woman, to put a parenthesis on because, it. Because, okay, so. Should men give women advice? No, no, no. Okay, it, it depends on what's about. Okay. I, I believe it depends on what's about, and it depends either on way. either or experience. Okay, gotcha. Um, and yeah, that that uh, um, I think that's uh, that's interesting because it it really depends. It really depend depends on what the person's been through, and you have to gauge it. You really have to. Oh no, I'm not asking. I'm not talking about that one. <laughs> the next All topic right, folks, here. That's it's nine fifty eight <laughs> and thirty five seconds. That's like a private. Uh, you probably that might have to. We can't air that one. I wouldn't okay. mind talking about that one. Uh, PDA, do you believe in public display of affection? Um, what? How much affection are we talking about? Your, what's your limit? Oh my God, never mind. <laughs> All right, it's not because that's going to be that's Whoa. going to that's going to be. Uh, we're going to wrap it up there. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in on our you first. You just listened to the Goonies. unscripted, unprepared uh, first. Who ever. was unprepared? I was say me. I, oh, I, I take it. Oh, I, I'll wow. man up. I'll man up. I'll man, I man up. Yep, I'll man up. But, uh, yeah, so you can check us out every Tuesday night from 8 to 10. I, I'm really liking this uh, this evening because I don't know, for me, evenings in any way, like for, I guess because I'm a Pisces and my personality type, I love working in the evenings anyway. So I, I'm like more awake in the evenings than I am in the That's daytime. Great. Now go buy me dinner. No. Uh, so <laughs> now I'm probably gonna just get some hot Cheetos. That's my like treat for after the gym, oh, okay. like 7 Eleven or something. I don't know, but anyway, ladies and gentlemen, once again, this is your boy DJ Matt Maverin with Mark Franz- bleh, Francois and Deja, and collectively, we are known as the Goonies. Don't forget, you can check us out on facebook.com backslash the Goonies Radio. Uh, you can check us out on Instagram. We still haven't really worked on our Instagram, all like that, which we should. Um, but that's going to be popping soon. Um, and then uh, you can check us out on Snapchat. We're all there. Just hashtag the Goonies Radio. You'll find us somewhere.